you'll you'll see in the top right corner why I was testing. Uh, yeah. So I've got I have a a cheap substitute for a chat a chat in video setup. Uh, what am I doing here? I just gotta. No, the chat. You, I don't know if you've ever seen I don't I don't know if you've ever seen the cover, but every single cover of this game, including the title, has it as four Resident Evil. But it's Resident Evil 4. I've, I've seen pretty much most of the game at least, but I don't know anything about it. Have you seen Have you seen it speedrun, or just play normally? Uh, I am um, well, a bit of both. Okay, I don't so think I'm, I've seen a complete speedrun, but I've seen. I'm just gonna do a test that um, uh, Derek Taylor, a uh, Scottish player, is probably pretty much my mentor from when I started out with RE4. Um, he said something about this particular room, and I also want to test to see. Um, how this new video layout, I probably should test this on a brighter map, but just to see if everything in the corner, like the W split, etc., yeah, how much it, how much, okay, so it appears to be the bottom there. That's pretty much the minimum size I determined while making it still legible. Um, is that good? Wow, I've never had that happen before. Usually it's the guy on the right that attacks. That's the guy I have to, t I have to look out for. But I, anyway, I'm just testing something. This is the closest typewriter to the area that Derek was talking about earlier. Um, and he said something about moving... Yeah. Yeah, if that guy... Yeah, if that guy attacks, I, throw a flash, I have to throw a flash grenade. But this is where I... So we're throwing out the left side window. I think there are two windows here, either of which could. Okay, so I got him underneath the window. Is there a lot of randomness in the game? Um, no. But the little randomness that there is can be a huge problem. Um, there is one boss that is almost entirely random. I mean, uh, five. Hello, Uzuru. How are you? Uzuru was my first ever Skype guest, um, and I and I sort of had him had him on rotation. Now I had uh, toothache and all cool Dave earlier today, it's our earlier yesterday, um, and Uzuru was my first, and 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 now you're uh, the later on. And one of these days I might get Derek Taylor to you come. You guy. That's uh. Uh, I'll try to explain as much as I can on the way. So. With this map, okay. So if, if he doesn't go, he doesn't go behind the ladder there. I usually just throw a flash grenade down here. Now, like eight times out of ten, Ashley will like climb the ladder there. But every so often, I think it's because there's an enemy that comes on the right. Ashley will cower, um, and the only way to break out of a cower is to jump back down and sort of like spam the wait follow me button when you're right next to her. So I'm just giving this a bit of a practice before I start a new attempt. <coughs> Okay, so I got him behind the ladder. So, will she... Yeah, she'll still... Yeah, because the, the enemies that come down there... This is this is a pretty slow route, but I'm sort of just testing various things of what I want to do here. It was sort of ambiguous as to how he put it, but... Um, once I start a real attempt, I'll, I'll try to explain as much as I can. Like, See there, I couldn't get him. So usually I just throw a flash grenade immediately. Things. The thing is that there's actually a seam, like in the top right corner there, that if you throw it down there, uh, it won't hit the ground, it'll just fall through the map. Which is always annoying. Oh, I was lucky there. Uh, sometimes, the, the biggest problem I found with uh, this map is those two guys at the end who will sometimes every so often try to make a grab for Ashley, but I guess that Ashley had leap dodging skills right there. I'm getting some pretty bad echo on your end, though. Okay, so... Uh, getting hit to dodge behind the ladder isn't a guaranteed... like there. Okay, so will she cower now? Oh shit, she will. 
Why are you cowering? Every enemy in this area is stunned. This is probably the only area in the entire game where Ashley's AI actually becomes a problem. Come on. Oh. Okay, so... Uh... 25 and 5 the 17th. Okay, that's... That is right in the middle of my two exams, as a rule. Uh, on, on the 15th and 21st. But I'll try to pop in for at least an hour or two. See, the problem here is that um, uh, these enemies also have invulnerability frames where they won't be stunned by the flash grenade. Which is another problem. The guy on the bottom here is not, is not an issue because you can just go around him. Um, um, uh, Uzuru, if you had a backloggery, that would make it a lot easier. This is this is one of the uh, this is one of those maps that can be a real run killer. Um, I try not to reset whenever I can, but the chances are usually that, that I tend to reset a lot anyway. How far into the game? This is about 25 minutes into the game or so. Actually, no, no. So probably closer, probably closer to 20, um, because the uh, there's there's a lot of them. The last, the last huge game-killing glitch is probably about an hour and ten minutes in, into a two-hour run, under two-hour run. So, uh, just trying to resize this, make it a bit, so it doesn't quite crop as much. If I bring this down, ever so slightly, uh, yep, there we go. That yeah, should be okay. So I, the color, the color is also slightly off. But I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I'm talking about the island glitch. Uh, the very first chapter, right at the start of disc 2, there's an out-of-bounds glitch, which, if done improperly, can cause you to fall through the map and lose about 45 seconds because you have to restart for the previous chapter. Or for the start of, the, of that chapter. So, uh, that'll be... There are... There's going to be, like, a couple of bits of really necessary serious time. But overall, it'll be a pretty chill run. Or at least not... not not tough enough to to require dead silence. Um, how's the how's the echo on top of his end? I thought I heard a bit of an echo, but I did not show him the waterfall I yet. I I did not show him the waterfall glitch yet. I'll probably do it on my first run because I want to surprise him. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. I have global hotkeys on W split is currently off. That changes that. So oh uh, yeah. This says that this will be my 181st attempt. I've probably finished about seven of these on stream. Just to give you an idea. I like to keep the track of the counts there every game. Sorry? I like when people track the amount of times they Yeah. Well, that's that's a that's a standard thing for W Sport though. Yeah, um, oh, I've got help. Uh, that's 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 um, apparently the beta period is over, so I'm taking advantage of the personal, uh, anyway, this is, this is currently my best time, 151.47. That's my best time ever, I managed to get it on stream, but it's pretty, I think it's pretty easy to beat. Uh, the thing is, there is a lot of luck involved. Um, so, I'll just choose one of these, and we'll get started on a run. Three, two, one. Good luck, I guess. Yeah, I'll need it. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And we've got two guests already. Welcome. I hope you're a little surprised, man. I am. I am joined by Tampa this time. One of these days, I might get Maikuyama on here. Well, who knows? Yeah, you can pull the force in. Ah, I missed that. I missed up that quick turn. The idea there is to break this window before the cutscene starts. And I'm I'm reset I'm only resetting there because I missed it twice in a row. If I'm if I get it on the second time, I'm fine. 
Uh, it's, it only saves like a second at the beginning, but it just looks sloppy. It's it's almost the aesthetics. I guess it's like the it's the tasser in me that's worried about aesthetics. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. There, there is a tap in this game. Uh, 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 there was one that was being made on the Japanese version. Uh, but I think that uh, whoever was doing it, it was, it was a new game run that was only... Oh, hello, Gemini'stum. Uh, it was they only ever got to chapter one three I think, or in the right. middle of chapter one three. <coughs> I saw some of this. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah. Ustream's Ustream's chat is pretty stupid. Yeah. There we go. I got the there we go. I got the window that time. And a pause buffer. Oh, come on. A pause buffer there usually doesn't wouldn't be. Ideal for for around because I have it timed otherwise I didn't do a pause buffer there either but I guess for it it's just you saw the extra long loading time switching between weapons there this is a speed glitch um, it is called the Dipman glitch uh, what you have to do is you have to equip the striker you have to hold the aim and inventory buttons which on GameCube are R and Y at almost the same time but not quite and then switch to another weapon and then Leon can run at one, at one and a half speed. Um, like this. I don't know if you've seen it before, but, I mean, uh, so I'm using what I recently, Derek Taylor confirmed as the fastest, uh, game, as the fastest method on NTSC for the village fight. I mean, I do this, uh, optional look thing so that the enemies are in a better position for this, and then I throw three grenades down. One, two, three. And I even give the, the third one, so I get an extra two. Extra s second save there. That was beautiful. And that was double beautiful. And now pause buffering for a couple seconds so that the game could load. Um, the count, the in-game counter does not count time spent in the in the pause menu. Uh, so occasionally I will enter the pause menu just to let the game load, um, because otherwise that would the extra loading time would count against uh, the in-game timer. The um, timer I'm using. The real timer is just sort of like a reference point. Usually, usually the real timer is about 90 seconds to two minutes off. Um, okay. So, like the, I think I got a, I think I got a 152.46 for the 151.47 uh, in in-game in time. Uh, just because it counts, it it doesn't count certain things like switching discs or in the pause menu. For certain cutscenes, I haven't quite figured out how it works, so I can't really make an inventory. I make a. I put it on the same page in the post game for the game timers. Hmm. That was when they bought the game and they counted it for the time. Mm. So, uh, the hard part of one one. Uh oh, right, retarded rocket launcher, which is the rocket launcher. It's the <laughs> yeah, the retarded rocket launcher is the visual glitch I used earlier. Uh, right after the village fight, uh, when you equip the infinite rocket launcher and you take your knife out and you get interrupted, um, that that glitch happens. It's completely useless, but it's funny. It will show up twice in this run: once at the beginning, and then again at the end of one of the boss fights in chapter five three. That one is mandatory, but the other one isn't. But I just like to do it, and I think because I sort of took a a wider turn there, I'm not gonna get as good of a time as I thought I would. Uh, because I was looking at the stream instead of paying attention to speedrunning the game. Yeah, one one point three seconds off. I probably should have tied or at least got within a few milliseconds of um, my personal best there if I was paying attention. Uh, I skipped those cutscenes a bit late uh, just to skip a low trigger. Okay. It's uh, a question. Uh, this is a new game plus, right? Yes. And what is different about New Game Plus? Uh, pretty much everything. Uh, gameplay, I mean, level-wise, it's the same, but you're able to pick a, you pick a custom loadout. Um, I will explain the loadout once I inevitably fail this run, and then I will <laughs> go into the I'll go to the inventory and explain why everything is there, and for what reason. Right. So that grabbing enemy usually gives me a hard time. I call him Mr. Grabass. And then further up the hill here is Mr. Grabass's evil twin, who is also giving me an easy time today. So for this map, I just have to take the two emblem halves, combine them when I get to the um, 
get to the door here, equip a flash grenade for safety in the next room. Hello, Scott Ward. Have you made that uh, fan art of the of Leon and the Returning Rocket Launcher yet? If so, I want a JPEG stat. We're trying to sell it off as a prize at HDQ, in addition to the the one piece of uh, artwork that's, uh, that uh, someone else already uh, promised. So, uh, opening the door to the right there, oh, that was lucky, um, increases the chance that the first gun out of there will point. If he hadn't pointed, I would have had to throw down a flash grenade there. And uh, the instability inf frames for jumping over the sandbags allow me to bypass that explosion. And so far, this has been a pretty decent one, too. I didn't get an ideal pattern on the last two sections of that rare warehouse. But I am happy because I think I did well competently. Uh, after next week, um, well, no, it was going to be a prize, uh, Scott Ward. I'm going to try and convince Michael Yama to sell it off as a prize. Um, there are certain prizes uh, for when people donate for HDQ during a certain game. They will automatically be entered for that game's prize. Trust us, it almost. I'll think about donating a prize I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, are, so are you are you definitely doing Oracle of Seasons now? Uh, well, it feels a bit decent between Oracle of Seasons and Link's Awakening. And yeah, uh, I will run Seasons. I, oh, I thought, oh yeah, I thought, oh, I, I thought Tigger was doing uh, Link's Awakening. Or is yeah, he's it, still Link's Awakening, that's right. Yeah. But uh, people don't like to, if they want to see Seasons or Link's Awakening. Yeah, for a race. I wish there was a Resident Evil 4 race. But the only person I know who's coming to HDQ who also plays Resident Evil 4 is Carcinogen, and he absolutely hates this game. So, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a, uh... I, I'm going to have to try and physically restrain Carcinogen from joining the couch commentary. I mean, as much as I like him... Well, well, the one who broke the oh, disc at the end okay, of the so there, there is an excellent example, uh, excellent, uh, uh, excuse for me to reset that run. Because usually I want to try and go further into it. That saves a good four, at least a good four or five seconds I really can't afford. Anyway, oh, hello, Sonic 32. Sonic 32 is our resident, I think he's a troll. I'm pretty sure he's a troll. He's our, uh, he's the kind of, I don't know how to ban people in, in Ustream, even if I wanted to ban Sonic, but I don't. He's too funny for that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm not going to do it a real attempt for this. I'm just going to show off the inventory and explain what everything is for. Okay, so what are you buying? So what are you selling? What are you buying? What are you I'm gonna try and buy something. I'll buy this. So okay, so here we go. So here's the striker which I need for the Ditman glitch. I have uh, seven hand grenades, ten flash grenades. Uh, these four golden eggs are here for backup. Uh, the infinite rocket launcher, which is another one of my new game plus weapons that I use pretty frequently. Chicago typewriter, which is sort of my standard. Uh, weapon for New Game Plus. Um, and then there's the Special Rocket Launcher, which kills Lord Sadler in one hit. Uh, the TMP, which is going to be used for the TMP glitch to sequence break a couple of areas. And this rifle, which is going to be used to uh, one-shot uh, the Red Zealot in Chapter 3-2. Uh, it's a GameCube exclusive glitch. Um, and uh, every other uh, glitch in the game, every other version of this game uh, makes the Red Zealot invincible until you trigger the first cutscene, but... Here you can shoot him while he's right on the balcony, and this is, this is the only weapon in the game that can headshot him. Not even the hand cannon can do this. Uh, so, um, I know you're... Actually, while I'm here, I might as well show off some of the uh, stuff that the merchant will say. Ah, a choice of an avid gun collector. It's a nice gun stranger. I love the merchant very much. I like it. <laughs> His ammo will penetrate just about anything. Have you seen the Mega 64 episode of this game? Uh, yes, I have. Is that all? No, that's right. Oh, here we go. It's a good one. Actually, oh, here we go. Uh, here's the, the Broken Butterfly is one of my favorite merchant quotes. Here we go. I see you have an eye for things. Guns not just about shooting. It's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. Is that all? No, I try to remember. Yeah. An awesome choice, stranger. It's got a three round rapid fire capability, although it uses up ammo rather quickly. That gun is completely useless, by the way. Oh, here's. Yeah, this is. Um, if you try to buy, like, the Infinite Rocket Launcher or the Chicago Typewriter, 
uh, they'll say like, Stranger, Stranger, now that's a weapon. But this is, this by far is my favorite merchant quote. Stranger? <laughs> what do you need that for? Go and hunt an elephant. <laughs> Are that an elephant in the game? No, oh, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish there were. Let's <laughs> plug us, let's plug us elephants. Instead of, uh, instead of Eligante, he had to fight, he had to fight a massive elephant. Uh, but, I bet there's a hidden elephant somewhere in the game. Like I wish. Really. I wish there was, but yeah, the the uh, the hand cannon is the only weapon in the game that can one hit kill anything, uh, as long as it doesn't have uh, iframes. But um, it's, it's useless overall because it takes up too much space that could be used later on. Um, anyway, uh, I if I stay up for long enough, I have a good a decent amount of GameCube games that I might let people choose uh, what I what I play. I'm not sure about that. I'll I'll keep it in the back of my mind if I get like two or three full attempts today. Um, anyway, uh, three, two, one, go. Now they're just serious. Serious time. Yeah. <coughs> and if you want to see one attempt if I, where I have the regular costume instead of uh, the RPD and Ashley's secret costume, uh, then go ahead and ask. Uh, and I will, I will do so. Basically, I, I like Ashley's costume better in this version, but I like Leon's costume better in the previous ver in this version. So, uh, or, yeah, I mean, ah. I personally don't mind what kind of outfit they use it. Why do I keep missing? It's the the thing is that you need a quick turn. That's another trick. A quick turn is when you hold the C stick in either left or right, and you tap R which is uh, generally faster than just turning with the left analog stick. But the thing is that in that particular area, you only have about less than half a second to get into position between killing that one enemy and, uh, and breaking the window. So I'm not going to reset. I'm not going to reset if I don't get the window, but I will reset if I miss it more than once after breaking the window. Or after missing the cutscene, I should say. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I do. Not, I only have my GameCube here. Unfortunately, my my PS2, Wii, uh, Xbox 360 are are in Toronto. Uh, although I will be going home on Friday uh, for a couple days before my first exam. Uh, and my my PS3 is actually technically my dad's, so I really don't have much, that much access to it. Otherwise, I'd probably be playing Uncharted 3 obsessively instead of Resident Evil 4. Um, so, as for the different versions, I would say I have not tried out the um, Xbox 360 and PS3 version yet. Uh, but the thing is that the GameCube version has the mo has the biggest number of um, of game breaking uh, of game breaking glitches. Um, the, the good ones, I should say. Uh, so. But but the Wii version has faster loading times, so overall the Wii version is faster. But just oh, I, I gotta give it a second time anyway. One, two. There we go. Oh, Scott, no, that's pretty nice. I just tell Sigla make to do a run uh, with Steve. Too. Scott Ward, was it Electrical Beast? Because honestly, I would I would I would kill. To see Electrical Beast um, beat Mario 64 with his feet while still maintaining that ridiculous English accent of his. Those of you who follow Red Super know who Electric Beast is. Electrical Beast. Welcome back, Sonic. Let's play Mario! This is a very high level. Oh, also, um,. While I'm thinking of ridiculous accents, um, Leon shares a voice actor with the merchant, Paul Mercier. They both, they both, they are both voiced by the same person. Alrighty. Don't do that the milk. The milk is awesome. Yeah.
Yeah, I, 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 I know that um, these. I know that goons are particularly um, admiring of speedrunners and tassers in particular, for whatever reason. Um, I know uh, Skinner, who used to be a mod on something awful. She is uh, uh, a pretty vocal uh, couch supporter of speedrunning. Um, my brief attempt at being a goon uh, was horrible, and I never want to speak of it again. Uh, but hopefully, I might gain. I might gain some of my. Oh God, I forgot to put the timer on. After all that. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, sorry. That's kind of bizarre. <laughs> what did leave it in the sink? I don't know why. Okay. And hello to Bug Six Nine Six Nine. Uh, God, I forgot. Why did I forget to put the timer on? I've only I, that's only the second time I've ever done that, but the previous time I did that was yesterday. So, um, yeah, my dad got my PS3 uh, mainly for Blu-ray for himself. Three, two, one. There, now the time's up. Um, Bugs, are you perchance maybe watching this from a phone? That might be the problem, because this stream has a bit of a problem with watching it on a mobile phone. Yeah. Apparently I'm the only real SDA member left on Ustream, aside from Miles. Yeah, that would be your problem, Bugs. Try watching on a computer. Got the window. Bit of pause buffering, but I don't really care because that's still affected. Uh, that did not affect the in-game timer. So, Dimman glitch. There are a number of things that could cancel it. Um, doors, opening doors, taking damage, certain checkpoints, basically anything that resets Leon's speed uh, will also reset uh, the Dimman glitch. You also is really impractical. To use the Dipman glitch when you have Ashley with you, uh, because it does not affect Ashley's speed. Um, on the other hand, there oh, are dude. certain there are certain instances, certain maps, uh, where you can use the Dipman with Ashley. Um, yeah, it was it was pouring like hell uh, in Peterborough earlier, like yesterday. Um, although now now the ground is covered in snow, just the way I like it. I am I am more of a snow guy. Maybe that's why I was destined to be a Canadian. Well, if it's supposed to be winter, then it won't snow. That's yeah. great. I've got the giveaway <laughs> again! Snow here. That is the third time in the row I've managed to explode that particular enemy. I, that almost never happens once, let alone three times in a row. Wow. Ooh, that was... I, I, you, I know, Tommy, you don't really know much about speedrunning this game. You probably wouldn't appreciate how insanely lucky that is. But if, like, if Derek or, uh, or Michael were here, they, they, they'd realize that is... I have never, ever, ever gotten, um, three gibs in a row, let alone three gibs in a single stream. Oh, come on. Um, the thing is, you don't know the game, is that I can see what that's impressive or, like, different than yeah. to do. And there are also certain things that I take for granted, which might look extremely oppressive to someone else, but I sort of say, oh, yeah, that's, that's just, it just happens regularly, and everyone else is like, oh, my God, how'd you do that? I, I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna lose the time that I got anyway, because I messed up, uh, selecting the grenade, but, okay, good luck with Mega Man 9, Scott Ward. Uh, this boulder, in terms of, uh, uh, this boulder, wait, I want the, uh, Chuck Isles Headbrider. I ruined one run once, because I accidentally selected the, uh, if it, uh sorry, the, uh, flashbang instead of a typewriter here. Because, uh, knifing the lock at the end here is slower. Even though you get the speed boost from the grenade, you move about 4.6% 4 slower on normal speed when you have a grenade in your hand than when you have any other weapon. Um, the infinite rocket launcher is slightly faster. It also has, but not as fast as barehanded. Um, and it also has the advantage of, um, uh, of you, you moving at the same speed no matter what your health is. Because usually you run at three different speeds depending on whether or not you're in fine 
danger or caution mode. Yeah. Um, depending on your health. So, for instance, I usually equip the rocket launcher earlier in one section four one if I take too much damage. I mean, I need the rocket launcher anyway, but I equip it earlier than I usually do. Uh, each weapon switch takes about two seconds if you're really fast. So, which is why I don't tend to use Ditman as frequently as I as, as you think I, I should, um, because if a map is too small or has Ditman cancelling areas where it ends up that weapon switching is uh, is slower, or where the weapon switching makes Ditman a slower option. Um, that's why. I've planned everything out. I know pretty much every single map in this game inside out. And I try to say that as humbly as I can, but I really do. Um, I don't always know it the best way, but I do know them inside out, at least. People keep uh, asking when they're... When they watch my speedruns on uh, Ocarina of Time, people do wonder how, uh, like, Casper and all can memorize the game. I think that's the easy part about speedrunning uh, and yeah. everything. Well, with the game, I, yeah. I, I, oh, hello, Kevin Cooper. How long have you been here? I, I've had quite a bit of newfie luck. Maybe that was uh, when you were still here. Not much success. I only just started. Uh, I failed two runs already. Maybe three. So anyway, there's not always there's always a low chance that guy will point. But what he does usually um, point uh, usually um, exit to the right instead of the left, or or opening. The door closer to the right. Oh, iframes, by the way. Uh, oh, iframes are opening doors. Also very useful. In that one section. Uh, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments in my route now that I was forced to use an extra grenade. But I already, I already foresaw that, though. I mean, usually I don't get to it. Yes, manually speedrunning. Someone else uh, someone else described what the joke is. I'm, I've described it too often. I, I'm, getting, I'm getting tired of it. I, I have no idea, at least. <laughs> But yes, the the misspelling of manly, that particular misspelling of manly, is deliberate. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Captain Cooper could explain or something. Cause I'm running out of creative ways to explain it. That's okay. Yeah. And somehow, despite all of my uh, my late game failure of not being able to split properly, I still managed to get a personal best on that. I don't know how, but I did. So I blew up that door with a grenade so that I could continue uh, on my merry way while still under the Ditman, also using the Ditman glitch. It doesn't really matter too much if I get hit by that last enemy there um, because uh, I can because I'm like one second away from the door anyway. So now let's see if I can do it right this time. I'm usually able to get this right. There we go. I have to try to take a route that's like closer to the campfire than jer jerking a bit left. It's hard to explain in words, but I have it all. I, I have it all planned out, and I also have a decent amount of backups um, if things don't work out as planned. Yes, I know of Maddox. I used to follow the best page of the universe when he was still updating every three years. <laughs> I don't. Th I last I checked. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I mean, how is how is Maddox in person compared to his internet persona? I would imagine he's a bit of a nicer guy in in real life. I know James Rolfe is incredibly nice in person. Um, I mean, even in his regular videos, when he's out of when he's not in character, is the angry video game nerd. Um, he's really, he's a really sweet guy. Have you met him? No, but I've, I've, I have met other people who have met him, and I've also, uh, seen videos where he's out of character, uh, and yeah, seen I mean, interviews and such. Uh, yeah, I would Captain like, I would like to be James Rolfe one of these days. They, I mean, he's, he, he does make plenty of non-AVGN videos. I mean, he's got a different character for his You Know What's Bullshit videos, which is sort of, sort of a slightly yeah. toned-down version of his AVGN persona. Um, anyway. I've seen pretty much all of videos. So 1-3 uh, contains the easily the worst boss in the entire game for speedrunning. Uh, Del Lago. He's a giant salamander. He's pretty much the only boss that you have to fight normally um, in the game, even in a new game plus. But um, 
he is very random. Uh, at least a good... He, he takes 11 hits, and you're able, and skill-wise, you could probably get 5 on the first cycle, and then the rest of it is sheer luck, depending on what he does and how you react to it. I did meet, um... Oh, I... You're supposed to wait for, uh, that boulder to... You're supposed to wait until the last possible moment to hit that pop, because you continue right down the hill. I met, um... Oh, what's his name? I met him at Fan Expo in Toronto. He is... I'm trying to remember him. Yes, Brentel Floss. I met Brentel Floss. And he was oh. a very nice guy. Uh, he was actually signing copies of his CD at, uh, at Fan Expo in Toronto two years ago. I think it's really uh, gone like downhill lately. Hmm. There's been doing much uh, lyrics with it. Yeah, wow. Well, in a while. Well, there's another pause buffer because this map is very large. And I want to wait for about four or five seconds before doing the Dipman glitch. Otherwise, you'd see much longer pause. Uh, in between weapon switches, because this map basically contains the, this area and the entirety of this next huge lake where Del Lago is. Del Lago is Spanish, meaning of the lake, so it is a lake. It is a lake monster, Lake Salamander, ac actually called of the lake. <laughs> okay, serious time. Oh, I missed the fourth. Okay, I gotta... No, I'm not gonna go for the fifth. I still need to practice that. I think I gotta keep my Delago practicing off-stream, just because it would be too embarrassing for anyone to watch. Okay, I'm down to five there. This is going terribly. I think he's gonna dive. Yeah, yeah I like the look at the way so. Yeah, diving. Oh, nice. Uh, it gets two. Kevin Cooper. Who are they playing? I know the World Juniors are starting. I always like the World Junior Hockey Championships. Oh, I got it, okay. Yeah, this is going to be pretty bad. I think I'm going to need a dose of emergency waterfall glitch if I'm going to uh, get back on track. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Okay, then. Waterfall glitch it is. Okay, that sounds good, I think. I have no idea. But I'll see. <laughs> um, it is an out-of-bounds glitch with potential for catastrophic consequences if it goes wrong. It will kill the run if I if I mess it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll be lucky to get a first try, Captain Cooper. I mean, you don't get very many attempts because really it only saves about 17 seconds, but it should be enough to put me in the blue by the time I, I finish chapter 2-1. Uh, in the blue means uh, means time that's better over my personal best because when you're ahead, uh, it shows on the graph as blue. When you're behind, it shows as red. Nope. Well, I definitely can do it. I definitely can do it. I just couldn't do it that time. Oh, and I completely forgot that I have a, I have a pizza here that I bought. It, a pizza slice that I bought here earlier that I have not yet touched. So I'm just going to take like a minute to have a bit of it, and then I'll be right back to speed running. So uh, enjoy the attract mode while I'm eating. Great soundtrack. The title screen is so good. It's called attract mode. Crosser, go get a girl. 
Oh, there they are. And yes, that 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 uh, that Asian woman is wearing a cheap hat in the middle of a not zombie apocalypse. Because these enemies are not zombies; they are los conados cattle. Um, that's not really the way it works, Scott. Um. I mean, I can even touch with Mike Miyama if you want. Um, Notice how they don't say it's set in Spain. Capcom have never officially recognized that this game takes place in Spain. They insist that it's in a remote part of Europe. Stir-fries. Stir-fries are really fun. Oh, and the TMP is completely useless except for glitching. Ashley is actually a... I mean, she's not really smart, but... Oh. You can hear the defaults, uh, or the original screaming. Um... The original screaming sound for for Ashley, which I mean, the current one is pretty annoying, but that one's even worse. <laughs> but I still think that Ashley is less annoying than Baby Mario. But only slightly. I find some of the babies in the Yes Island DS to be worse though. Yeah. I, I, I heard I heard baby I heard baby Wario can be pretty annoying. Yeah. He for example. Okay. I'm good now. I've not finished I have not finished my pizza, but I've um had a good I have had enough of it. I've had enough of uh enough of it to uh fuel my speed run adrenaline again. So now, hopefully, uh, in addition to Noopy Luck with Captain Cooper here, I will have some uh, pizza luck. Three, two, one. All right. Bye, bye Uzuru. Doris. Anyway, I will most likely be putting this up on YouTube um, if, uh, if I get a completed run today. Which I I am ninety percent sure that I will at least somehow try to get a good uh, full run. I mean I have I have today off. Yeah, I got the window. I did a terrible run on regular seasons before. Sorry, of which? Uh, regular seasons. Oh yeah. I mean, I I never I I am not that good at the GBA version of Santa Time or even Metal Gear Solid One. I mean, I've never been that good at, at games that I've tasked. I mean, it just, it feels different. 
It feels too different yeah. for my taste. I mean, how much? Uh, I mean, how much? How much did you feel you had to relearn when you started doing? Uh, oh. like, when you started doing Oracle Seasons prop uh, on a on actual Game Boy? Well, I, I've lost a bit of my touch I had a few years ago. Yeah. Because of passing. Yeah. That's for sure. But I, I, I can get up to it pretty quickly. Anyway. So anyway, as I said before, it's not mandatory to go into that look cutscene. Um, but it just puts the enemies in a better position here. Two, three... I got the gimp again! Holy crap! One, two... This is unprecedented. Okay. I'm telling you, I am nowhere near this lucky usually. Usually he just dies normally, at which point his death animation takes one second longer than it would if he exploded. Uh, and the explosion, because of the way that you have to throw the, th the third grenade there, um, the explo getting the guy to explode instead of die is almost completely random. But, hey, luck's on my side today, I guess. If only I was so lucky with the other parts of the run. Hey, actually, uh, oh, oh, our special guest today is Tompa from Task Videos. He is also going to the marathon. Hey. He will be speedrunning Oracle of Seasons. Well, I, I'm for speeding Mr. Arkham, too, really. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm more active at Task Videos. Yeah, I mean, I, I technically, I started at, I started at the Sonic Center. Um, do you, do you know Super Sonic 101? No, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, well, he's the one who sort of introduced me to the idea of, of speedrunning as a whole, but that was just individual level time attacking and Sonic Adventure 2 battle. And from there, I discovered Task Videos, and from there, I discovered Speed Demos Archive. Um, so, yeah, I, I just trying to think the last time that, uh, that you and I had a Skype conversation. I think I was. I was still, long time ago. <laughs> I was still at Halifax at the time, so it had to be at least four years ago. Yeah, which, perhaps. Which might as well be the dinosaur age, the internet years. Don't ask me which dinosaur age. I'm not that smart. I'll get. I'll just yeah, say. I'll just say it's. It, it might as well be the Paleozoic age in internet years. Yeah. I just had okay. like a huge Skype conversation a while ago, but they have stopped for some reason. Uh, Super Sonic 101 went to my high school, and I was and I was friends with him for a few years. Um, and he was at one point one of the top Canadian players of uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, but I, I'm much more active in task videos than I am here. I've never actually submitted a run to SDA. I'm gonna, I am hoping to change that. I've discovered a number of Xbox 360 games that I... Oh, come on. There we go. That, that, only, say, that only wastes like two seconds. So I wouldn't reset or something like that. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I'm gonna have to race this axe over to the ledge. Okay, I got there. Uh oh, where's Grab Axe? I won't get it, at least. I'm not a fan of this series. I haven't played it in there, but I don't know. I don't care Sometimes, sometimes the dynamite, here got, the dynamite guy here doesn't spawn, and I have no idea why. Uh, I'm not getting Operation Raccoon City, although it looks interesting. I don't have, you know, reliable online multiplayer available for that. Oh, come on, no. Okay. I'll accept losing seconds there because it was just my controller being stupid. I'm using the wave bird that I've only been using for like two weeks or so. Um, I prefer it in a number of ways, but it has caused a bit of... Uh, a few problems, but the the the, the pros outweigh the cons, though. I just need to be on my on my guard for when said cons approach. Oh come on, you're not even gonna point for me. You are a dick, Mr. Ganado. You are a huge, massive, throbbing dick. I am. No, I was talking to the Ganado who wouldn't point at me. <laughs> that. Uh... Oh wow, this is luck luck based luck uh, luck wise this rod is pretty decent but it's extremely sloppy tech wise. 
Ugh, that was. Let's. I won't speak of that again. I might as well. Uh, just... By the way, what does the letter stand for on this back? RPO. Uh, it's Raccoon Police Department. Uh, this, oh. this old costume of his is a throwback to Resident Evil 2, uh, when Leon was a player character and he was a rookie cop um, with the Raccoon, Poli Raccoon City Police Department. Um, and on his first day of the force, there was a zombie outbreak. Lucky for him. Uh, Bugs, it doesn't kill him because it's slower. Yeah, I, I don't kill, kill him. I, it, it yeah, I, time. yeah, I don't kill anybody if it's if, if it slows me down. Sometimes I'll kill people for for safety reasons, but I mean, if it, if I know an enemy is prone to attacking me a lot and I'm in a glitch, I'll I'll attack them or or I'll kill them just to get them out of the way. But oh god, that is. I'll have to see how Delago. I'll see. I'll have to see how uh, uh, how Delago goes because I'm really behind on one two, and it was all based on my own menu incompetence as opposed to anything gameplay wise. Um, so, if I can get a good Delago, and if I can get the Waterfall Glitch, I might, might be able to save this. I probably should restart, though. I'll, I'll, I'll see. Hello, McGack. And yes, we do. We hate him. Monday sucks. Always. Eh, well, Mondays are... Uh, I, I don't mind Mondays as much this term, because I don't have any classes on Mondays. So it's sort of like I get a three-day weekend. I got a three-day weekend every week. That's right. Nice. Nice. Ideally, I I know that I am um, I'm really fast on the merchant text skip. If I can close the window before he starts to say selection in, got a selection of good things on sale. But. Uh, that rarely happens. Usually, if I can, if I can ha close it, close it, the window on is on the first syllable of selection. That's a good run. But uh, my my button mashing skills today are failing me. I also hate thumb button mashing, which causes some concerns with certain quick time events. I usually use my index finger whenever given the, whenever I'm given the chance. I'm always used to that Yeah, I, I just can't get it more than like five or six times a second at, at most. Whereas I'm able to, you know, go really, really fast with my index finger. Usually, when I'm trying to scroll through menus, I'll alternatively use my left index finger for the B button and my right index finger for the A button. I don't know how fast I can spam the button. I'm going to try that though. That is pretty much the very last moment where you can get that, uh, uh, where you can dodge that boulder there. You keep, for that boulder in particular, as opposed to the 1-1 one, one boulder, you keep running down the hill as long as the button prop shows up. So you want to wait until the last minute. And that guy is the third grab ass brother who got, uh, who I joke has had a, uh, he had a brick fill, that fell on his head when he was a little boy and he, he was never that adept at grabbing as his older twin brothers. How many brothers are there anyway? There are three. There are three that annoy me. One. Grab ass brother. Three. So it's about half a second too early on that pause buffer, but. I don't mind. If I could get like three or four seconds of proof of it just on this section, which I know I can. Oh, two seconds. Okay, that's good enough. If I can get a decent dialogue, I'll be fine. Yeah, the grab ass the grab asses have the uh, have the drug ring in Pueblo really going well. They're the ones that provide all the Las Placas samples. Fish. It's a salamander, technically. So and, I, and I actually got four hits. I actually got four hits there. And I guess four hits is good. Four hits is the maximum I am able to do on the first cycle. Um, the maximum is five, and 
Um, uh, Derek Taylor says it's easy, but I don't believe him. Did I get that seventh hit? I probably would have been able to get another hit there, but... Eight. I think about nine or ten here, which means I can get... Yeah, that means I can get it, um, like, maybe if I only lose, like, four or five seconds on this fight. The thing is that, um, uh, diving is easily Delago's slowest attack. There we go. Okay. I should only lose a few seconds here. So if I could get the... Yeah. Spam it, spam it, spam it! Yeah, that there are a few there are a few quick time events where you need to mash it really fast, and others where you don't. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try the waterfall glitch again. Uh, Cause I'm 11 seconds right now, which means I could be about five or six seconds, uh, only about five or six seconds ahead. Uh, if I could get it, if I could get it first try, and if I can get the rest of two one decently. All right. Usually I, would, yeah, usually I would usually I would pause buffer cutscenes, um, just to try and get the first possible frame. But when I use an in-game timer like this, I don't, and I just do things like I memorize I've memorized the number of steps from a loading from a loading point to a certain cutscene, for instance. That, that's happened on a few maps. Okay, well I got this two. Pause buffer to be insanely annoying to watch it. Yeah. I'll, I'll try, so, so. I'll try to keep that to a minimum on my SDA run. I usually only do it like four or five times anyway in a single in a single pause buffer. And it would just be like right at the tail end. Because I would know the approximate area. And not to mention pausing is much faster than in something like Seattle Three Time. Okay, I need serious time for this. Got it. First try. Don't mind me, just uh, walking around the waterfall. <laughs> In the dark block. Oh, it's nice when you can walk through walls. Yes. There is only one other. There are a couple of places where you can do it, but there's only one other that's beneficial to a speedrun, and most of the other ones are maps that I don't visit. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I could probably be about... Even if I have a sloppy... Even if I have a sloppy rest of 2-1, I don't see why I should be at least 2 or 3 seconds ahead by the time 2-2 ends. Or sorry, by the time I get the first door in 2-2, I should say. Sometimes I don't have like a chapter two one end because the um, there's no loading time in between in between two one and two two in which to hit the split button uh, consistently and there's a much better one. Uh, no, I did not pull the switch at all. Um, I just walked around. I walked around the waterfall. Um, pulling the switch activates a checkpoint, which loses your which loses your Dipman glitch. One, two. Five. There we go. So yeah, no, I did not pull the switch at all. I just walked. I just walked um, out of bounds around the trigger for the waterfall, and um, yeah. There's also an invisible wall I had to walk around, which would put you into an unwinnable state, because uh, one of the things that the switch does is that it also opens an extra door, which I had to walk around. Because uh, if I if I had gone back into the regular world too soon, I would have been I still would have had to face that door. I wouldn't have been able to get in. And there's an invisible wall in front of the in front of the waterfall anyway, so I would have had to restart. Um, you can, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, you can uh, for the marathon. I am gonna do the waterfall glitch, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the lever as a checkpoint. Um, because otherwise, if I had failed that, and I went, if, hold on a second, puzzle time. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, I these kind of puzzles. That was kind of sloppy, but they're the same thing every time, though. Um, it's two, two red, three green, one blue. But I was just, I just, I was a bit sloppy on the green, on the menu. It's all about menu work there. So anyway, I'm just going to leave Ashley here. Who needs her? <laughs> you don't need Put her for the her end back of this. in the kitchen. Yeah, you don't need her for the end of this cutscene. There we go. Save 13 seconds. So now I'm two seconds ahead. 
because uh, my pers other personal best, I did not, um, I did not do the waterfall glitch. So there, yeah. Usually, I don't, I don't do the waterfall glitch if uh, I have a good Delago fight. Like if I'm only like two or three seconds behind, or if I even pull out a personal best on Delago because I wouldn't want to risk it. Um, but uh, the waterfall glitch is a good crutch. Um, if you had a bad Delago fight like I did there, just there. Although for the SDA run, I will have both a good, uh, both a good Delago fight and the waterfall glitch because. You know, 17 seconds for that kind of thing. You know. But I'm just talking about for my practice runs. This this run is approximately the same route I'm going to be using for the marathon. So here's the here are those two infamous maps I was practicing practicing earlier. I hope I don't need to use flash grenades for those two because I'm already down one. Okay, good. Very good. If he attacks late or doesn't attack at all, I don't need to pull down the flash grenade. But it's really up to my own judgment. So here's here's where I need to concentrate for this section. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Come on, Ashley. There we go. Good girl. Very good girl. <laughs> Who's the best escort mission AI? Who's the best escort mission AI? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. I was acting as if I should talk. Never mind. That never happened. That was a. That was just a. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I. I am. I am uh, removing that particular joke from canon. I'm trying to understand it first. I failed to do so though. Yeah. Okay, cabin fight's coming up next. Pause buffer again. One, two. Oof. That was a close shave. I'm a bit, I'm a bit lower down the stairs than I usually am when I'm doing this, but I really don't have the time right now to readjust my position. Otherwise, it would affect the spawns for, every, for everything else. Was it overpowered weapon? Yeah, well, this is a New Game Plus weapon, so of course it's OP. Yeah. I was dangerously close there to flinching, which would have lost me with my Dipman, and I just saved another five seconds off that. Usually, it's a combination of getting a good, uh, of getting a good farm and getting a good cabin fight. No, I don't want to go left. Right. There we go. Okay, that was only like two seconds. Oh, come on, don't get stuck there. Uh, all the good things are going right, and all the little things are going wrong usually an opposite of what, what usually happens when I do this. Anyway. Well, that's what happened for me in my theater run. Only small ways of things go, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, imagine if you had to escort Marin through half the game. Or Malon, I should say. Is there a Malon, is there a Malon in, in Oracle Seasons, or am I thinking of Awakening? In this Awakening, her name is Marin. Oh, right. Malon is the gay girl in the uh, long rounds. Oh, okay. So there, uh, there's there's a troll though in the seasons you have to. Uh, yeah, so you may not notice, but there is actually another troll that we faced here uh, previously, chasing us. But you're not going to see him at all. Okay. Anyway. Ah. So ski lift, pretty boring, uh, pretty long, uh, and the rest of this chapter is more or less a breather, except for Mendez and the very last map. Uh, which is just before 3 1, and that's where things really start getting difficult. I'm gonna try and see if I can eat the rest of my pizza while this is happening. While also, um, 
while also completing a certain uh, ritual on the stream, which everyone will enjoy at the end of the ski lift. This area lags a lot. Only way to kill the lag is to kill these enemies as fast as you can. And yes, I'm actually talking about lag in a console run. I'll, you have to keep that in mind too. Uh, some games lag pretty much. Depending on what you do. Come on. And all frames count, you know. Just frames. Yeah, there are too many. There are too many places where the game lags. Um, this is one of them, and then there's like the last two really big maps where there's tons of enemies on screen. But that's right near the very end of the game, and you can't really control that. One more enemy. Over right here. And then I will fulfill my ritual. There you go, enjoy the view. Yeah. Her jiggle physics were as provident in that angle, unfortunately. Although, as I was saying earlier about Ashley's AI, I mean, she, she isn't particularly smart, but I mean, compared to most escort AI, she's practically a genius. Uh, so I will give yeah, her... Having her. people follow you in games is pretty bad sometimes. Yeah, like I can see the man I play. There are only like a couple of maps. Players. Yeah, there are only like a couple of maps where Ash's AI will actually be a genuine problem. This doesn't do anything, I just enjoy doing it. <laughs> okay, quick time. Alright, so, Mendes with the Scarlet the Typewriter. And I juggled him again. Recently, uh, Derek Taylor confirmed that this was the fastest way um, to deal with uh, to deal with Mendez. I thought that the, the, that the rocket launcher was faster, but apparently not. Hello, noob three one six seven. How are you? Uh, but yeah, Ashley is pretty confident. I mean, she'll stay behind you when you're firing. She'll duck when you aim at her, um, and she'll try to stay out of the way. The only the only way that she'll actually cower is that if you leave her alone, and enemies are prioritizing her instead of you. Um, in story, uh, they're actually supposed to let Ashley go back to the United States and start a Las Plagas infection within the White House. But the um, but all of the uh, enemies seem to have forgotten that, and they'll try to kill her anyway. They'll also try to grab her and carry her off to one of the entrances or exits to the map. And if they get there before you can, uh, before you can shoot the enemy and let them drop her, it's an instant game over. Um, on the PlayStation 2 version and and uh, and later, uh, like on the Wii and 360, etc., um, you get an extra costume where Ashley is in a suit of armor. Uh, enemies will still try to grab her, um, and it will still be, you know, a mildly annoying animation. But they won't be able to grab her off because she's too heavy. Uh, oh well, yeah, a, a friend of mine talked about that one. Yeah, but that's not on GameCube, so I can't use it, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so now, because I ended up using some more of those flash grenades I didn't want to, I'm going to have to do some inventory rearrangement here. Um, just so that I could get my flash grenades in, in ideal positions. So I'm going to start at the beginning of the castle with six flash grenades, which isn't quite what I'd wanted, but it's fine. And I'm just going to leave Ashley here, get captured, and then I'll race I'll race the enemies to the end of the checkpoint trigger. Or the cutscene trigger, I should say. And I'm losing time. Not too much, though. Yeah, I'm still I'm still ahead by two seconds, so. Um, yeah, oh, I'm going to start... I'm probably going to start uh, the castle with seven flash grenades. There's one more... One more flash grenade I need to use before I enter the castle. But I just lost... Whoa, five, how did I lose five seconds there? One, two... I don't know, yeah. 
So this is one of the few maps where you can use uh, Dayman with Ashley, just because of how the map works, so I'll explain that in a bit. Um, so anyway, once I trigger this cutscene, I am going to make Ashley wait here so that she doesn't get blown up by the cannons. And then I'm going to make Ashley follow me right here. So now there's an enemy that just spawned behind me who usually will interfere you when you try to crank this particular cannon upwards. But because I made Ashley wait, um, uh, the enemy will prioritize her instead of me. Allowing me to crank this without any interference. Oh, no, I think using arrows for me. Once I fire the cannon, all of the enemies on this map will disappear. And then Ashley will revert back to the neutral state. And I'm just going to make her wait so she doesn't run off and act like an idiot. Because Ashley's AI gets Ashley's AI gets worse the further you are from her. So the trick is to make sure that she's close to you at all times. Or otherwise, you could, you could always throw her in a dumpster. I'm deadly serious. You can't throw her in a dumpster. Or at least tell her to hide in a dumpster. Anyway, i got to concentrate for this one. Because there is one... There's one thing right at the beginning which could ruin everything if it happens. Which didn't happen there. That's good. What may happen? Uh, there's an enemy on the right that can grab you sometimes. And that changes some of, that changes some of the enemy movement. And it also makes it a bit harder to go up these stairs. And there's a chance that one enemy might spawn. There's a chance that the enemy will spawn anyway because I just killed a guy. But... It might not be. No, there wasn't enough time. There's a there's a, an extra powerful enemy who spawns at the bottom of the stairs, if um, uh, if you kill a certain amount of enemies, and the time trigger goes off. It's it's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, um, okay. Ashley is going to show another opportunity, another thing that she has, which is the ability to hold open doors. And I don't mind that I took damage there because I was expecting to anyway. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay. I'm going to lose even more time, but I don't really care. Because I'm doing good technically, and I'm not just going to let stupid text ruin, ruin it for me. So flash grenade in here. Oh, I did not know you could do that. Okay, so I just got really lucky there. I'm going to make her follow me here, which means that she's going to open the door for me, and I can run through while still in my dead man form. That was really good, actually. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. Um, considering my earlier menu flub up, but that, that actually might have compensated for the time I lost by screwing around in the menu. So yeah, that's what I said, entering the castle with seven flash grenades. Um, I, I expected to take damage from the, uh, crossbow guy when I, uh, when I killed those two ride show guys. Though sometimes he misses, but I usually expect to get hit by him. And then there is a, um, there's a green herb in the prison I could use anyway. Um, but because I picked up an extra green herb, I'm going to wait on that and instead um, wait for a green herb that is in the next map. So yes, I have this all planned out. I'm not quite as crazy prepared as someone like, say, Cosmo. Okay, that was pretty bad. That, that was a pretty bad garage fight by my standards. Usually I'm able to kill him before he even turns around, or no, when he turns around the first time to expose his weak point. And then I'm usually able to kill him within like half a second of that, but... There's also a pretty high chance that one of those enemies could turn into a Plagas. Every enemy has a chance to turn into a uh, Plagas, which is essentially like a, the tentacle form that you saw at the beginning of Chapter 2-1. Uh, be in Chapter 2-1. Um, this is the most infamous room in the game, the Hall of Water. And I'm, I'm hopefully I'm gonna be able to school it. Uh, I think the name Water is kind of annoying most of the time. I don't think I got that archer on the right, but that's okay. It's just a minor inconvenience if I can't get him. Did I get him? Did I get that archer? Yes, I did. So that's going to probably alert the enemy that's usually here. There he is. He's usually he's usually in between those two pots. And then the guy that spawns down here turned into a Plagas, but that only wasted like about a half, a, uh, like a quarter of a second. And I don't really count quarter seconds. I, qu I count half seconds. And I messed that up, but that's okay still. So you count the frames. 
No, you can't really count frames and stuff like this. Yeah, I know. Just because of the way that the controls work, etc. So I'd go up here for the particular... Now, the Chicago typewriter, despite being a new game plus weapon, still sucks when it comes to penetrating wood, so you want to aim at sort of like the side. I'm going to try and experiment to see if making Ashley wait here is slightly faster while I'm killing off these enemies, because it was an idea that Derek Taylor posed um, in the comments of my previous YouTube video. I don't think it's going to save time. I don't think it really... It allows me to be in a better position here uh, when the enemies come in. Yeah, it doesn't save time. But, I mean, it, maybe, if it, maybe it would. Yeah, I don't want to kill him yet because I want to make sure that Ashley's there. I'm going to lose a decent amount of time off of that. In retrospect, I probably should have made Ashley crank earlier. But it's the first time I've ever used that strategy. Usually I, I clear everyone else in the room and then let Leon crank it. Because you can crank it much faster than Ashley can. Although you really have no choice but to let Ashley do her thing here. So the only enemy who can really is really in danger, I just killed him with a headshot. He's the only one who really poses a danger to Ashley on this section. But I like to kill these guys anyway just for consistency's sake. I'd like to try and see how many, how many headshots I can get with the otherwise most inconsistent. Otherwise, this is the most inaccurate weapon in the game, despite it being, um, despite it being the mo easily one of the most powerful. There we go. I actually managed to get the first cutscene skip. Okay. So now there's only like two more enemies that spot here. There's one of them at the top. And then there's one more enemy, this guy, who's the only NPC in the entire game who is scripted to run at, at all times. Um, you still here? Tapa? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking okay. to my brother. That's why I was oh, on okay. the mic. Alright, well I will... I'll let you go then. But yeah, that, that enemy was the last one who can really harm Ashley in this section. And then you just have to wait for the ride shield enemies to spot here, and you know that Ashley's about to crank when the first non ride shield enemy comes in on this section. Right there. Oh, and I managed to get headshots all around. I'm surprised. Usually, I, deliber I deliberately want to keep my uh, Chicago typewriter accuracy in the single digits, um, just because. Accuracy is one of the things that the game's dynamic difficulty takes into account in order to adjust how hard or easy the game is uh, for you. Um, and unfortunately, I can't really uh, manage things like death count or uh, damage taken, so I use accuracy instead, or lack of inaccuracy, to try and keep the overall difficulty level of the game down as much as I can. And I'm probably not going to save that much time here. Maybe a bit. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting to. Okay, from now on, from now on, I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using Ashley to crank instead of uh, instead of me. And I know I'm going to save a lot of time by not going for the flash grenade on the right side. And I already pre-prepped my inventory so that I can quickly choose here. So for those of you who don't know, this camera trick decreases the chance. Um, the Novistador is actually being able to hit you. I mean, there's there's never a way to 100% guarantee it, but their their chances are significantly decreased. And it doesn't really matter that I uh, that I did that anyway. But oh well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, well I got I got lucky in the section that I usually screw up on, so I think it'll it'll pad out in the begin it'll pad on the end. Oh wow! And that that uh, acid attack, you can actually just run past. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's no gangster costume in the GameCube version, alas. So you can't really do that. There's a red herb. There's a red herb at the start of the map after next, so I don't need to worry about that.
So coming up is a script break, uh, a small one, but it still saves a decent amount of time. Um, you throw down a flash grenade here. You don't want to throw it down immediately. You sort of want to throw it down a little bit later. Like there, and then that just skips. That just uh, stops the cutscene, the otherwise unskippable cutscene from triggering here. So you may be wondering why I have that rifle in my inventory, if you were able to, to look at it. Uh, th this is the one I, I like best. Um, you ever wonder why you can't just shoot the red Ganado? Well, you can. The red's out in this section. So I'm going to try and see if I can get it. There we go. First shot. And I took some... Uh, I took some damage there, but I was able to get it. Uh, yes, it will. It will. Um, the cutscene triggers once the red zealot is alert of your pres alert to your presence. So, yes. The uh, long story short, that cutscene will trigger if you linger. Uh, if you try to shoot them, if you try to shoot everyone with a rocket launcher, um, why didn't you die? And why did you miss me when you when you didn't? Anyway, so you just missed another script break. I don't know if you're watching, but. I uh, I'm back now, please. Yeah, Sorry about were, you, were you watching? or? Yeah, not most of the time, though. Well, I'm gonna, gonna, okay, well, I'm going to put this on YouTube anyway so you can see. And you can see my commentary as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I was listening to you at least. Yeah. You'll see it. I <laughs> managed. Yeah, that, if I had not gotten. Um, if I had not gotten the headshot in that Red Ganado um, the first time then uh, that would have lost about 10 seconds uh, because it would have to restart from a checkpoint. I only have one uh, I only have one bullet in my rifle because uh, one hold on um, because the, it, it, there's an extra animation for Leon putting in oh come on okay I, it, this is one area where if you do get damaged it actually is faster to try and reactivate that man. I've never had those guys in that particular position before, so I was I was blindsided by that. Can you just battle with the rifle them? Uh, no, you can theoretically, but it's pretty slow. Oh, come on! That's, That's the, guy the guy. same guy that I dodged before, and the guy who usually hits me at the very beginning. Um, so anyway, this is one of the more famous uh, glitches in the game: the TMP glitch. A TMP with a stock attached can, on the GameCube version, can shoot through walls. Or shoot through doors, I should say. Oh, heck. And I just got it there. Bit sloppy, but it's okay. I haven't quite mastered being able to get it on the first bullet yet, but I just skipped a really annoying maze section and saved about two, three minutes. Okay, nice. Minutes. Not seconds, minutes. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, rest of. Now we're in the middle of chapter 3 3 without having actually officially finished chapter 3 2. Oh, yeah. There is a flash grenade in this room, but it's a little too out of the way to pick up. So. This room is very is very luck based. Um, it's actually it's it's luck based towards the end, and you'll see why. There are three ride shield guys who will come out of the door uh, that I just past that we lowered the bridge for, and if they do, if all three of them do a certain attack, I'll be able to run through them without getting hit. Please be nice, please be nice. No, you were not being nice. They have not been nice for a very long time, but I'll be able to get out of this without too much trouble. Yeah. Yeah, out of all of the possibilities of, of getting that, of getting that, uh, of screwing up that particular area, that was, um the best way to screw up. The best bad way. The best bad way, yes. There we go. I actually one-shotted her this time. Well, unshotted freeing Ashley this time. Normally you have to free her with three shots from a sniper rifle. There is a way to one-rocket this. I've never been able to do it. The one-rocket that first wave. Something about exact timing and hitting the rocket launcher. Anyway, I need to... T I need to uh, Time this probably one, two. Yeah, I got it. Are you, Are you able, able to, to kill, kill Ashley? Ashley? You're not. You you can kill Ashley. You can kill Ashley 
You could kill Ashley with one hit from any of your weapons, actually. Oh. <laughs> uh, even a TMP, even if, you, if it's a TMP to the pinky toe, will kill her. Oh, shit. There. If you... AoE doesn't actually kill her, uh, but it will stun the enemy. So I blew myself up there. I blew myself up there so that I, I have my HP at 1. Both, at, both guys get refills at the end of this chapter anyway. But um, um, this makes Ashley's section a lot easier. Uh, because, again, I talked before about dynamic difficulty and health. Leon's health will determine the difficulty of this section. So that's why I blew myself up at the end of that section. Although I'm probably going to lose a decent amount of time because I actually got caught there. Probably about 10 seconds, which will bring me back to even. So you don't need to crank this all the way. Just up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Right through there. That's more or less the minimum of, uh, of, of crankage that you can do to get Ashley through there. It is possible to get, um, uh, it is possible to uh, get a Ganado through there, but it's pretty hard. You have to sort of bait them in. Yeah. So this section is just, there's no enemies. Well, there are enemies, but you can't kill them. Sort of just a throwback to the, uh, to the old Resident Evil games. And in the Japanese version, they even have those really bad overhead camera angles. So now I'm going to demolish a puzzle that, that always gets everyone stuck the first time they play this game. There's a really easy solution. Oh, what it is. <laughs> that was simple. simple. Yeah, it is It is simple when you know that, so that solution, but I know that I, for one, got stuck on that first time. Who else got stuck on it? Come on. Don't be afraid. We know we know that you got stuck on it first time. So yes, Ashley Ashley when she's at full upgraded health can survive one of those, but she'll go into danger and she'll move much slower than usual. None of the puzzles in this game are, are particularly hard. The only one that that's the only one that's is one that's long, but I skip it. That's in chapter 5 1. That's good. Skip all the long and slow stuff in the game. Yeah, well, I can't skip all of it, but I can make it interesting at oh. least. And there's the dais. You put the hole in the dais, and obviously you can turn it now. So, for, for things with a choice, like for yes or no, I can't actually mash A and B, I can only mash A. So, it, is, it does look slightly slower. Um, it would also be slower in a task because you'd be pressing A on A on odd frames and B on even frames. Um, no. This game accepts input at 60 frames per second, but it only runs at 30. Um, even on the PS, even on the PS3 and 360 versions, I think it runs. And yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose a decent amount of time here, but I can make it up with a good 4-1, I think. Three, two, one. It's gone. My lead's gone. Yep. I'm pretty much it. I'm pretty much. Uh, oh, I, I have 0. 0.3 seconds left of my precious 10 second lead. So now you're. Go ahead. Yeah. So here's something you're never going to see in the game again. Wait, wait. Right here. Which is Leon saying wait twice in a row. Just because of the way that the trigger works when you get onto this amazing Magma Gearmatic Device 2000. That one looks awesome. Yes. You think that's awesome? Just wait until the room it leads to. This room is actually considerably less awesome if you're speedrunning it, but it looks cool. And it looks so out of place. Someone actually recreated the layout of this room with Link to the Past ROMs, with Link to the Past sprites, and, and it fit pretty well. Oh, I want to kind of see that, but I think now. It's the Dark Ids Let's Play of uh, Final Fa uh, the, the Dark Age Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. The screenshot LP, it's really funny.
So anyway, this game is very much unlike the previous entries in the Resident Evil series. Um, much more action-based. I mean, it is still some, it, it still maintains certain elements of survival horror, like uh, ammo preservation, but that's only because of um, you're using your ammo a lot more. Oh, wow, I just headshotted that guy with the TMP. <laughs> yeah, the TMP is, is completely worthless for anything except sequence breaking. That is, its, that is its one redeeming factor, and it is in that way a joke weapon. Uh, even when you are uh, fully upgraded, um, when you've fully upgraded the, uh, the TMP and gotten it special, each individual bullet still does less damage than the fully upgraded, than the basic handgun, unupgraded handgun that you get at the start of the game. So, yeah, there's, th this is, as you can see by the graph in the top left corner, this has been a, a run of ups and downs. Yeah. I can only, I can only hope, I think that I'm not going to restart at this point, unless I die, I'm not going to reset, um... I think I'm just going to, um, if I if I fall through the map during the island glitch, I'm just going to grin and bear it, because at this point I just want to be able to get a, another run completed. I think to get some practice in those yeah. runs, like you're bad. Yeah. I just keep up most of the time though, because I can't stand yeah. myself playing. By the way, those three pieces make a chimera, by the way, or a chimera, I should say. The special gives you 1.8 damage, and the standard handgun does 2.0 damage. And that's before you upgrade it. I'm start not I'm not talking about the black tail. I'm I'm starting I'm talking about uh, like the handgun you get at the at the very beginning of the game. Uh, the weakest the weakest gun in the game is the Punisher. Um, but it has the advantage that you can shoot multiple enemies with it. Okay, so here we go. Um, your Ashley is also good to show off her door stopping skills. Come on. Really? Okay, I lost a decent amount of time there. But that's not important. What's important is that Ashley just made for an excellent doorstop. <laughs> oh, what a very good purpose. So I was lucky enough to escape the. Uh, I was lucky enough to escape the dragon room without taking damage, which means I don't need to change my route at all for this next area. Um, you need to enter both of these rooms. You can enter them in either order. I usually just go for the Queen's Grail first. Um, Oh, okay, well... Okay, well, maybe I have my stats wrong. I mean, it's it's been a long time since I've ever looked at uh, the damage for the standard handguns, but... So, these guys are two rocket, two rocket first wave, and a one rocket second wave. And this guy conveniently drops a green herb, and there's another ever-so-convenient green herb right there, so I'm almost at full health again. So, I don't need to go into the menus. That was nice. What was life? Oh, all was life is skip the menus if you can. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I, I realize I've been I've been hogging the microphone a bit too much, so. Uh, yeah, you did talk. I don't got much to say about the game anyway. I don't know it. Well, you're you're free to make snarky comments about uh, the improbability of the architecture and whatnot. Hmm. If you can spot anything interesting in the game, like a portrait or some old woman, mm -hmm. no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, you're 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 still a much better you're still a much better host than Carcinogen would be. Or co host. He's a. Uh, well, I'm in general kind of bad at commentating. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah, Carcinogen works better on his own anyway. I mean, he, I mean, his his um. Uh, his HDQ run of Resident Evil 4, the Wii version they did last year, was hilarious even though it shattered my heart into a million pieces. <laughs> but it was still really funny. Okay, this room could be a bit of a pain because those Navista doors are back. And any attack from them will cancel Hitman. So I got a, there's a bit of skill and a bit of luck. Come on, move, move, there. 
Okay, please baby, please baby, please baby, bastard! Yeah, like I said, moving the camera out of the way does it, it is a day. It's it's not a it's a probability. It's or it doesn't it, it's not a guaranteed miss. Oh come on, you gotta be kidding me. I'm losing so much time in this room. Yeah, those enemies are kinda last the upper flip. Yeah, these guys are either really helpful or really not helpful and today is just one of those days. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't. I think I'm still going to end up with with time loss at the end of four one, even if I do the rest of it, the rest of it right, which um, also means I'm going to have to dig into my supply of golden eggs at some point. Um, the ghost. That's kind of a weird thing. The first day, uh, um, the uh, why did I equip that when I'm not using a flash grenade? I don't know why. Um, I mean, I expect. I mean, I would equip a flash grenade for the section anyway, just because of the speed bonus. But I should have equipped the one that was right next to uh, the striker. But anyway, this clock for this clock tower. Um, here's another one of the only strategies that I actually developed on my own, um, which is using the striker to knock down these wooden blocks that are blocking the clock tower. And I actually got both of them first try. So that's oh come on, what do you mean? I didn't, how did I miss it, man? Every time there's a close car in the game, I can't stop thinking about Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, this is... It's like, every time there's a close car in the game. Yeah, well, so you have to go up... To, in, a, in a version of what you usually have to do, you have to go back up and then go all the way back down. Below, below where he started, actually. And that loss of, And failing Ditman is just going to lose so much time. But then again, considering I actually managed to get... Uh, the um, the first two blocks and two shots, which I almost rarely do. I think it'll balance out in the end, and I'm still going to lose a huge amount of time for that in this little room. I mean, I'm not usually pessimistic, but I don't think there's any denying that that room is really, really bad. Okay. Yeah, that exactly, yeah. So my last grenade is going to be used for to throw here. So that I, I can, hate the snake cases in the whole like, game, so. so that I can run more freely. Ooh, that was actually kind of close to hitting me there, getting a flinch. Would have lost a couple more seconds there, but anyway. Um, I'm going to take this next room cautiously. The room after that, I'm doing a more conservative route. Um, sometimes those guys drop herbs, which would have been helpful. And again, the drops are random. Nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody dropped any herbs. Sometimes they do. Um, so two shot for these gana for these garadors here that are blocking the doorway. Um, it is possible to get them in one shot, but I find the two shots more reliable and it's faster than setting up for a one. So here, there we go. See, nice and fast. There is a first aid spray in this room, but it's dropped by an enemy. So I, I won't go out of my way. I'll probably be forced to get the um, the first aid spray that's right at the end of four one. That's the only. Uh, the screaming, Ashley. Yeah, that's the only cutscene in the game where the QTE prompt is the same every time. It's always A and B for whatever reason. Yeah. I don't know why I, I sometimes fail that man like that. I honestly do not know. I mean, it's just, it's all, only ever really happened with this controller. Actually, if I grab this green herb, and then there's a red herb, near, there's another green herb. I didn't think of that, actually, because there's a green herb near the start. There's a green herb near the start, of, they're right at the start of 4-2. So I don't need to grab that first aid spray, and it's, it's annoying to grab anyway. So, anyway, uh, ne next trick coming up is difficult. Ish, so I need some serious time for this. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I might just make the red herb there, but this is serious time. Okay, that's one. The rest of them are random. Ow, I managed to get it this time. Yeah. Those other QTEs are completely random. They could occur at any time. I've gone through quarters where you never get one of them. 
Um, and it's just the first one that's scripted. Whoa, I've never seen that happen before. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he's right behind me. Yeah, he is. I'm trying to keep up with the game as good as I can, but yeah. I'm gonna this doesn't you're, make you're free, sense you're free to, to me. Make up, you're free to make up your own story of what the hell is happening plot-wise. It's funnier that way. When people, I, you know, I have no idea what to think. Well, just but, make uh, up your own story. Make up my own one. Uh, I don't know if you even know where you are in the game, but like... Uh, I am underneath the okay. castle, I believe. I am going into the mines. So, I am losing a decent amount of time, but nowhere near as much as I could be at this point. So... Hello, Appleman. Yeah. I mean, I probably, I, realistically, if... I'm surprised that I only lost 18 seconds there. Um, and that was all pretty much from that room. I mean, it could easily have been 45 if I'd had bad luck for the rest of it. Uh, so I'm I'm lucky it got off easy on that section. So this next part um, is one of the few areas where you really get to keep your dip, where if you're good you can keep your dip man throughout the entire map. Um, this is also one of the reasons why PAL on GameCube is faster than NTSC because you can just take a rocket launcher and blow up the boulder that we're about to pass here. But on NTSC you have to do the dynamite puzzle. I mean on both options you're expected to, on both versions you're expected to do the dynamite puzzle. But um, blowing blowing it up with a rocket launcher is still an option on PAL and on the PS2 version and Wii as well, even for NTSC. So I have to be wary of that chainsaw guy. He was he caused more than a bit of trouble in my previous stream. Yeah, the chainsaw killer one hit. There we go. I got him this time. A bit slower, but it's worth it. His front his front chainsaw attack is a one-hit kill, regardless of what you do. There we go. Oh, that, was, that was more or less... Aside aside from a more conservative uh, flash grenade throw, that was pretty much... That was pretty much flawless. So there is actually... This is another area where it's possible to skip this fight. But it's only faster on New Game. On New Game Plus, it's actually faster to just kill these guys because it's because you just uh, spend way too much time setting it up otherwise. Because it would take two rocket launchers to take these guys down, as mentioned. But I have the infinite. I have uh, I have the infinite rocket launcher. So yeah, it is. It does look pretty funny when you skip it without a bounds, but uh, not by much. Anyway, oh, I forgot that I don't have my flash grenade here. So probably gained a decent amount of time back because I, I did really well with um, uh, both of the maps so far. And if I play this conservatively, I should be able to do fine here, too. Um, so, yeah, at 4.3 is mostly auto-scroller. I'm gonna take these down. He's down with the striker. Uh, just to save a weapon switch. And it also just so happens that the striker is excellent against the Novistadors anyway. What kind of creatures are killing anyway? They're Novistadors. They can camouflage themselves, though they don't in this map, and they're just really annoying. They move fast. Most of their attacks take a really long time to set up. Or take a really long time to go through, um, and they mainly just serve as they're both really fast and really strong, but they don't take a lot of they, they don't take a lot of uh, uh oh get out of the way I don't want you bothering me hey you're supposed to I'm just gonna change my route slightly so that I can decrease the amount of novice reaction I get on the way out of here. Did I actually kill them all? That's that's actually something that's Something useful? Something that's... Wow. I didn't realize... I thought that that extra group spawned out of here. I didn't realize that, uh... Anyway. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. For obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, that, well, I learned something new about this game every time I speedrun it, so... Um, it, it is possible to jump down there before 
uh, it crushes. But the, the I have I have ruined one one I've ruined at least one run by failing that, and I don't want to do it again. Titman just saves an extra puzzle where you'd have to um, destroy the previous uh, or what, what am I thinking? You have to destroy. Oh, okay. So I I got another uh, personal best on that. So I I saved a lot of time there, and four three should four three should go okay for the most part. Uh, there's a lot of green herbs in, in these two chapters, in 4.2 and 4.3. And I'm going to grab an extra flash grenade, because I'm going to want as many as I, I can for some of the latter portions of the game. I'm just going to rest my voice for a bit, because there's not much. I mean, aside from grabbing a flash grenade, there's not much to say about this section. How many flash grenades do you use in a round, you think? A lot. I use all I, I usually use all of them, including pickups. Maybe about fifteen and I start with ten. Okay. So let's see if I can actually There we go. Sometimes they don't always follow me, but when they do it's nice to uh, be able to dodge them like that. Uh, by the way, where did Ashley go? Uh, Ashley was captured in one of the cutscenes. Okay. She gets captured a lot. She, almost if she yeah. captures she captures her uh, she, she has a uh, tendency to get captured whenever uh, gameplay with her starts to get a little boring. And then the game sort of just uh, uh, levits it up a bit. This game is very smartly paced, I must say. Yeah, I'm going to play that area a little safer than I usually would. You should bring the uh, the chainsaw controller to the marathon. No, I that that thing is unwieldy as hell, <laughs> and I I I have only used it once, and I don't own you, it. You have it? I don't own it, but I've used it once, and it was absolutely retarded. <laughs> does, does it make like chainsaw noises? No, it doesn't. Does it just it's have... just really unwieldy. It's just in the shape of a chainsaw, and that's it. Oh, that, that, that's too, too bad. Special features. And I had a I had a slow Temple of Doom ceiling there, but that's okay. Um, I don't know what my current uh, count is for um, for green herbs. I think I have enough to do. Uh, I think I have enough. Yeah, I think I've got enough um, to make enough for because I usually use I the four gold makes that I have for backup. Okay, so pretty much the rest of this is an auto score. Um, except for one small map near the end, which is, which is just backtracking to get to that door near the campfire. Oh, uh, I'll just go there, Stark. What? You're not, you're not allowed on this, lady. That is the first time in a very long time that any of those enemies have actually made it. No. I'm not playing on... I wouldn't even do, like, a regular run through a professional, let alone a normal run. Um, for some reason, everyone seems to think that professional is only slightly harder than normal, except me. I can't even go to bed soon. It's work tomorrow. Like eight hours. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much the only way you can speed this up is by hitting the switch really fast. All or Oh, you have internet, don't worry. What's making that card go forward, anyway? 
programming code. Oh yeah, of course. Didn't think about that. Makes sense. <laughs> it will be nice if we can destroy the tracks with the rocket also. Uh, yes, we can. And now it doesn't say. It doesn't say whether or not Eligate, why Eligate exists. I think they were, I think they're meant to sort of like a brute force, I don't know, something. Why is it? Okay, I gotta lose a, a retarded number of seconds here just because I was being stupid with the menus there. But anyway, I don't know if you recognize that tune I was doing there, Kevin Tooper. Just as a as a break for the usual Mario Chicago typewriter. I gotta take the long way around on this route. Or just for safety. Yeah, there are other. Yeah, oh, I, only lost, I only lost about one I, I I didn't skip. I I didn't skip it. Um, I just did it really fast. <sighs> for for I, And which part are you talking about anyway? Are you talking like at the end of the mine cart? Okay, this is this is probably like the weirdest part of the game. It's never explained why there is a massive statue of the main villain in the middle of this room, or why it's a clockwork statue. Or why something happens to it at the, at the end, which you'll see. Come on, jump. There we go. Yeah, I play mostly conservative here. All the games need big statues at the end of this. I guess it's like it's supposed to be like a representation of his ego, but... But there's nothing that explains what happens once you run down the path here. And... It starts chasing you! Oh my. No explanation is ever given for why this is. And oh, it's not done! You gotta run still! Run, Leon, run! much easier to do this section on the Wii because one of them because for for the running you, you waggle the Wii remote and then it's a, and then it's an A B button combination um, to jump. Uh, whereas I have to mash A with the index finger. Um, and then so yeah here's another rather difficult section um, or lucky section I should say. There is a decent amount of difficulty in it, but... Anyway, I'm not doing too badly for time. I mean, considering the horrible start that I had. This is yeah. a slow, this is a slower but safer route, and I had taken too many detours anyway. I wasn't, I wouldn't be able to do the faster route even if I wanted to. Okay, so I just waited for that last bit of dynamite to go off. Push these two boxes off. Now the main gimmick for this section is that this is a lift with a weight limit. Oh crap. I forgot where the... I'll have it both lifts got a weight limit anyway. Should like all that. Oh yeah, so ideally I wouldn't want to, um, uh, to reset my dim in here, but it was my fault. Now, the thing is that this this elevator has a weight limit, and if more than two enemies are on are on the elevator, it stops. So I want to sort of shoot upwards, so that it never stops, or or doesn't stop frequently. It is it is theoretically possible. It is theoretically possible to get through this entire 
section um, without having the elevator stop once, but it's really difficult. And you have to memorize the spot. You have to em memorize the enemy spawns, which I have not yet done. And Gak, the iron boots in the Zelda games, they are way closer if they are in the pocket. Yeah, anyway. Makes so much sense. A lot of gaming logic, it's, a, it's the best. Right. LL Cool Dave is probably um, the one who's going to uh, be helping with, with the commentary uh, for this run of AGDQ. No, no Salvador skip. No. No Onyx, I would not do it for all the gold in Alaska. No. No. So aside from skipping Salvador, uh, sorry, aside, sorry, aside from the, aside from skipping Salazar here, um, this is the fastest way to to deal with them. So I am going to take the opportunity to equip the striker early and use a healing item so that I can start, the, the, so I can start the second disc. This is the end of. It's it's really difficult. Um, it is probably the hardest out of bounds glitch in the game. And there's like a couple of pixels. Um, Cabot Cooper, look it up on YouTube. Is probably my is my answer. I can't really describe it, but it's a it is an out of bounds glitch similar to the island glitch and the other glitches. Um, so anyway, I've got I've got disc two right here. I'm gonna lose a couple of seconds because I decided to go into my inventory early. Uh, not to mention my minor screw up. Uh, Okay, so this switch time, and now I need dead serious time here. Oh, I still managed to be three seconds ahead somehow. Okay, it's yeah, it's a much yeah. The the window for success is much smaller than than the island glitch. So I need I need dead silence for this. All right. Nah, fell through the map. I'm gonna continue anyway. But that would have been a run killer, right there, if I were um, if I were doing this normally. Oh. No, no, this. Why did I miss it? Uh, I'll be lucky to get sub two at this rate, let alone let alone sub one fifty. Oh, is it that bad? Um, well, it depends. I mean, I usually, anyway, I, I need to do the other glitch anyway, because I have not practiced, I have not practiced the proper way to do this in quite literally years. I can't remember the last time. Anyway, I gotta, they're almost got it that time, but I'm going to be a good 40 seconds behind now. Did it again. This stay in the game if we make it. This stays about four minutes. Okay. I was doing so well. I was practicing this last night, and I was doing really well at it too. Got it almost. There we go. Okay, I got it eventually. But that's probably only going to be like two minutes. It's yeah, you can fall forever. You fall forever until you re until you turn off the game or reset the checkpoint. And that saves about four minutes. 
but it probably saved a lot less um, because of all the times that it took me to do it. There's there's no way I'm, I'm going to get like under 155 right now. There's no way. Unless I get really lucky in, in some of the places where I traditionally get unlucky. You want that RPG guy down as much as possible. Um, it is possible that he will uh, not attack you, although it is very rare. Um, I forget who did. It was it was someone who figured it out. I don't know who, but I am, hey, I am definitely I'm definitely sort of miffed for not getting that. Um, uh, I'm I'm pretty miffed for not getting that island glitch as, as early as I wanted to, but that's just how this game goes sometimes. Like I said, very few random elements, but those random elements are huge. Hey, at least you got the oven man skip. That's something. There are not there are a lot of nice skips in this area. Oh, sorry, in this chapter, I should say. Uh, most of them are much. None of them are save as much time as the island glitch, but they're all really cool to watch. Like this one. Normally you have to play cat and mouse uh, with those guys on the, on, the, on the garage door, which opens when you cross the line and closes when you don't. And it takes a long time and it's super tedious, but I just skipped it, so. Hooray! Get a Yeah, this is, this is an example of a map where it's too small to really uh, use it man effectively because of the amount of time it takes the weapon switch. Ah, that was that was a pretty bad uh, a puzzle, just speed-wise. I mean, I got the I didn't overstep anything, but it was still annoying. So anyway, those are the regenerators. Uh, have you played Killer Seven, Tapa? No. I haven't. Okay, well, th this is bi the regenerators are basically one big shout out to the Heaven Smiles in Killer Seven, who are the main basic enemy. And I highly recommend Killer Seven. It's a very confusing game, but it's it, and but it's um, confusing in a good way. Oh, it's much better than other games. Yeah, I haven't played it though, but I don't think I think y'all like it that much. It is an on-rails, third-person shooter RPG where you move on a predetermined path, but you can move left and right at your leisure, and there, are, and there are alternate forks in the road. It's much better than it sounds. And it also has a story that makes absolutely no sense, but it's really good for that. Yeah, Invisible Weak Points are, are a really bad example of the bad difficulty. The... Uh, the um, that the the game's other difficulty modes are, are really bullshit. I mean, you just want to play the regular deadly, which is the standard hard mode. So that's the that's the new strategy I came up with uh, for dealing with that section. I just wait there and because um, the morning star guy usually gets me, but it's faster to do it this way. It also means I don't get as much interference. I thought that was Hopper 7, McGack, but... The only good thing about Killer 8 is that you could play as Young Harmon, and that's about it. I really don't like Killer 8 mode. Uh, anyway, I think you go to bed now. Okay, have fun, Tapa. So I can get some sleep before I have to work. This hasn't really been a run to write home about anyway. I'm sure that I can try like good commentary for you. <laughs> I have no idea what to say. So. All right. Oh, I thought Hopper Seven was. I thought I thought Hopper Seven was harder. I'm already losing time. I haven't even. I haven't even got to Iron Maiden yet, and I'm already losing time. That's really good, gang. That is really good. Oh boy. Oh, I'll talk to you later, I guess. All right. See you, Tapa.
Good luck with the rest. Alright. Okay, so that was Toppa. Uh, not quite yet. You got one more chapter left before that. And I'm gonna try a new strategy on this room, because why not? I mean... Oh, well, oh god, okay. That did not work out as well at all. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is just a nightmare come true. I'm losing so much time. Oh my god. I don't think it could get much worse than this. At least when it comes to 5 1. Well, my 5 2 is going better, at least. At least I was able to outrun the enemies there. Actually, I, I just thought of something. What if I tried the flash grenade here? So I've got extra flash. Okay, that's good. That works. Yeah, this is sort of like the equivalent of a sports team just trying out new techniques because they know the game's already well beyond their reach. There is no way I'm... There's a good number of enemies that spawned, I guess as a result of, I don't know, enemies. Wow, okay, that was close. Huh. So at least I, at least for better or worse, I mean, I have a new technique there. Or a new highlight, I should say. More hot door stopping action. Ashley's health doesn't matter anymore. As long as it's a green. What? How did I fail it? I am... I am so demoralized right now, it's not even funny. I probably should have picked up the... Probably should have picked that...
the only thing that can uh, that can help me get through this is wanted violence. And it is working as a catharsis anyway. Sorry, I'm not really, I'm not really in any mood to talk right now. I mean, it's like I had a halfway decent run going. And then I just crapped it all away. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? is going to be a total pain in the ass, I can tell. Oh, great. I thought I had. I thought my iframe would. My iframes would have been long enough there to avoid him, but apparently not. And at least there aren't any guys who are clipping through the bottom of the truck this time. That's something. Wow, that's weird. Usually, at least one of those guys turns into a plagas. There he is. And then there are the guys who jump in here, and that guy. And I think that's it for enemies up top. Yeah, that should be it. Oh boy. How did I lose all that time? I mean... Oh, wait. I'm... I might gain a bit of time here, actually. Maybe. Actually, no, I don't think so. So you're not going to see Ashley again until near the end of 5-4. But I doubt anyone missed her. Oh boy. Well, Sonic, you'll be happy. I'm really in no mood to voice over the knife fight. I don't have any incentive anymore. Any incentive I have for anything positive has been lost after that. Uh, you can provide your own manly theater if you want. I think this is. I think I'm also gonna finish after this. This will be my last attempt. This has just been awful. Oh god.
died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got you on quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> Whoa, I was almost missed that one. The sample sampler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this. Oh, I need to hear if I sadly trust in me. Like you, I'm American. <laughs> Family flips! You got her involved just for that? Oh god, I almost missed that one too. Where the hell is my brain today? Okay, well, the well, the 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 hard QTEs are over at least. No, Onyx. Laser room skip is segmented only. You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? I... I want to get this deathless, at least. You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, then... Uh, laser room skip is easily the hardest skip in the game, and it requires um, pinpoint precision, almost almost frame perfect precision. It was, it was bad, but as bad as it usually goes. I mean, it wasn't spectacularly bad. Also, the laser room skip only saves like 10 seconds, maybe. At most. Okay, you three. Oh boy. I just hope that you three and Krauser are okay, because I'm... I am in no mood right now for any shenanigans from those two. I've had enough. No, 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 no. That, there. That thingy. Bullshit.
I don't know why I, say I have such trouble getting that button. I honestly don't. Okay, well the rest of this went well. Okay, that went well. So the end of you three made up for it. Not even the sight of the retarded rocket launcher can lift my spirits at this point. I am I am turning emo before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Watch, watch and weep. Okay, well that went well. That is one thing out of several hundred that actually went. Anyway. Krauser, I have just about had it. Please do not be a massive dick to me. That's fine. He gave me a decent he gave me a decent pattern, that's good. But to start. Okay. Alright, Krauser. Good start on Krauser. I'll I'll admit that. This is a pretty good start on Krauser. And I think I could just uh, live off of the green herbs that I get from here. Okay, so here's a question for the chat. Why do all of my terrible runs have such good Krauser fights? Please, I would like to know if you have any theories as to why this happens so often. Please, let me know. Why the hell did I select I should be going with this flash grenade? No, that's not Murphy's Law, because Murphy's Law would dictate that the Krauser run all goes horrible whether or not uh, whether or not I uh, always do better. I don't know what I'm saying, but the point is... Krauser's Law. The shittier a run is... Oh, why am I... The shittier a law is, uh, the, the better a Krauser fight will be. That sounds like a good law. Okay, so, that actually went really well. Come on. Okay, that was pretty good. 
I'll admit, that was pretty good. And I also tested this earlier. Dipman is... It's faster to reapply Dipman for this small section. Not by much, but it is faster. There may be hope yet. Mind you, I usually don't do that well on... Uh, yeah, that was insane. But mind you, I don't usually do well at 5-4. What's this about Airman? Oh. Anyway. I I haven't really played a Mega Man game extensively. I mean, I've played a couple of them, but never really beat them. Never really put much time to them. Anyway. Uh, I'll settle with the halfway decent 5-4. Okay, well I got lucky there. I mean, if I had to get hit, at least I got hit by the axe instead of uh, instead of by the, the stun rod. So I still I'm still in the green right now. And wow, okay, this is pretty lucky. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for ruining my demon anyway. You are a dick. As are you. Oh, what? Mike, you are an asshole. Oh, what? Yeah, that was Mike kidding me. Yeah, I got the ball. Yeah, that's good. Scott Ward, you should be spending time doing that doing that uh, retarded rocket launcher artwork. If you have time to send Rule 34 of Splash Woman to your girlfriend, I'm sure you have room enough. Okay, gotta run the hell out of it, hell out of the way. Oh god, okay, good. That's still good. I'm improvising here. Uh, try to get some, try to experiment with some better strategies. Um. Okay, that was not a better strategy. I probably should have killed that guy. And then the RPG guy here, I think, is spawned. Yeah, he spawned. See, if Mike... If Mike had at least blown this up, then... Uh, what do I do here? Oh yeah, flash grenade. That sounds like a good idea. No, you don't. Okay, I've got enough green herbs anyway. So I'm not going to pick up the first aid spray. Okay, well... Uh, Yeah, I agree about Krauser's Law. The only problem is that I now am starting... I am now going into, um... Uh, into this area with only two flash grenades. Um, uh, into the second war sequence. There is only one other flash grenade which I, which I know I can get 100% of the time. Um, there's two... Actually, no, there's two of them. But one of them is in the map in question, so... Uh, the other one is, like, right at the start of this next map. I might just barely be able to get it.
Yeah, I'm losing a lot of time with 5-4 because I basically just took this opportunity to experiment. Not really. So yeah, I, I have to equip the, the um, uh, Chicago typewriter first because I still need to kill. I still need to kill the guy with the uh, the card. I'm gonna have to do a bit of uprising here. If I don't kill anybody yet, if, if I don't kill anybody else, I should be fine. Oh come on! Did I really forget to do that? Oh god! Well, this is karma balancing out my excellent Krauser fight. Did that, but switch to the rocket line. Uh, switch to the. Okay. There's still. I've still got a few flash grenades left. If I can get Ashley, if I can get Ashley to not cower in this section, that would be very good. Okay, well I didn't get her to cower, but I saved just from those oh wow that is even if I, even if this is my personal best i'm not going to submit this because the rest of it was just too awful i mean i don't care about a krauser fight i don't, I don't care about the excellent krauser fight i had it's just oh boy i'm seven seconds ahead going into uh Even though this will be my personal best time-wise, I, I honestly don't think... Oh boy. You know what, I'm, I'm, even if this will probably be a personal best anyway, but I'm not really going to consider it an official personal best, just because everything was so terrible except at the end. I mean, I would never accept it. I would never accept it. So this could this this could go on record as the worst personal best ever. Well, that's Mega Man 9. Mega Man 9 is a considerably harder game than Resident Evil 4 is. So you can't really compare.
Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. No, I haven't. I lost 10 seconds somewhere anyway, so... Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not my personal best. It's one second faster than my old personal best. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I all... I, that was... That was Krauser. That was completely Krauser in the previous chapter. I mean, those saved it. I absolutely saved the run. There, there's no way. I don't. I didn't deserve that good a time. I really didn't. Um, I'll save it here. Yeah, still eight seconds behind. But okay. Anyway, that's it. That's that's all I'm gonna do today. Uh, you've been a great audience as usual, and I just wanted to thank everyone for uh, for showing up. And for doing a great, and for uh, helping me out here, and thank Tampa for guesting. And uh, anyway, I will, I will see you all eventually. All right. Good night.